Chapter 1 talks about the pronunciation of Nibak. First, we'll talk about the Nibak Achabat, the alphabet. It has 24 letters. We have A, Ch, G, R, H, I, K, L, H, L, 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 M, N, 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 Pa, ka, ra, sa, shra, ta, u, va, ya. The North Slope Inibak language has only three vowels a, i, u. The Inipak vowel a uh, has a sound similar to the vowel sound in English words run and what. The vowel i has a sound similar to the i in the English word it. The vowel u has a sound similar to the u in put. North Slope Inipak has nine possible pairings of these three vowels, which are called diphthongs. I E, ow, u, u, ui. In one of the North Slope villages of Tikiya, also known as Point Hope, they pronounce one of these diphthongs differently. Our I is pronounced A in Tikiya. Our O is pronounced as O. We also have a mouth diagram that shows you where consonant sounds are articulated in our language. Our CH, L with the slash dot, L with the dot, and N with the brow are considered palatals. And this means that your tongue will hit the top of your mouth as you make those different sounds. CH, L, L, N, Y. You could feel your tongue hitting the top of the palate in your mouth. We also have labials, which translates to lips in a different language, but we have sounds that we use our lips. We have P, V, and M. P, V, M. We also have alveolars, which uses the tip of our tongue or different parts of our tongue. We have a T, an L with a slash, an L, an N, S, an S and an R. Put together, that's one sound. A Y and an R. Ta, la. With that L with a slash, you use the sides of your tongue. La, la, na, sa, shra, ya, ra. Now we have velars, which uses the back of your throat, just the top back of your throat. We have a K, a G, and a N with the tail. So the N with the tail is like this similar sound to an N and, N and a G in English. K, G, N. Now we have uvulars, which goes a little bit farther back in their throat. We use the way back of our throat, and we have a Q and a G with a dot. Ka, ra. And lastly, we have a pharyngeal, which uses our, the, our throat, and that's our H. Ha. We also have in our language, it's called the Inibak consonant grid, and the consonant grid arranges the sounds of the North Slope Inibak language in an informative manner, 
so that someone who does not know the writing system but knows something about phonetics or speech sounds can tell what each symbol represents. Every consonant that may be classified according to two criteria, first, where in the vocal tract the sound is produced, or place of articulation, and second, how or by what process the sound is produced, or manner of articulation. The vertical columns of the consonant grid are labeled with five basic places of articulation of any about consonants from the lips, labials, to the pharyngeals. The horizontal rows represent the four possibilities for manner of articulation in an any about consonant, stops, fricatives, voiceless, and voice and nasals. In this way, each symbol on the consonant grid can be identified according to the row and column in which it stands. For instance, ta is an alveolar stop, the is a voiced velar fricative, and so on. For the stops, we have pa, ta, ka, ka. Fricatives voiceless, we have la, sa, shra, ha. Fricatives voiced, we have va, la, ya, Ja, ja, ja. Nasals, we have ma, na, and la. The consonants in the first row of the consonant grid are voiceless stops. The Inupiaq voiceless stops pa, ta, ka, and ka are not aspirated as they are often are in English. Pronounce the following English words while holding your hand in front of your mouth. Pin. Top, kill. Now say spin, stop, and skill. You should feel the puff of air hitting your hand when you say pin, top, and kill. However, you will not feel a puff of air when you say spin, stop, and skill. Aspiration is said to occur when the puff of air is released from the mouth. Here are some Inupiaq words containing voiceless stops. Pa, ta, ka and ka in initial and medial positions. We have pisixi, apa, tumi, atiyi, kuchok, aka, akishun, kauruk, akaru. The Inupiaq pa closely resembles the English p in spin, speak, and spoil. The Inupiaq ta closely resembles the English t in stop, still, the Inupiaq ka resembles the English K in skill and skull. The Inupiaq ka is a voiceless uvular stop not found in English. Here are some Inupiaq words containing the voiceless stops ta, ka, and ka. Unet, sigirik, koak. Palatalized consonants are pronounced with the front part of the tongue pressed up against the roof of the mouth and the teeth all along the hard palate, with the mouth in position for pronouncing i or ya along with the consonant. When t becomes palatalized at the end of a word, it can be written with either a ch or a t, representing a palatal t with the dot which is unreleased. Inuit or Inuit. Sigirit. Here are some examples of the tch sounds. Nut the voiceless labial fricative, F, is written with the symbol V because it is predictable in any back words. Whenever the symbol V occurs in a consonant cluster with a voiceless consonant, it represents the voiceless labial fricative F. Here are some examples of the F sound. Tufsi, Achfalukdaq. And here are some examples with the L with the slash and dot. Sihlaq. The voiced counterpart of the voiceless palatal fricative L with the slash and dot is L with the dot. Its closest equivalent in English is found in the word million. million. This sound is found in Inupiaq words such as illa, relative, a part of something, and illapak, a orphan. Sihlak, savilhak, tafsi. The last row of consonants on the consonant grid contains nasals. The Inupiaq nasals are all voiced. The Inupiaq labial and alveolar nasals ma and na are equivalent to the English m and n in money and nut. 
The Anipak Vilar nasal ng is equivalent to the English ng in the following words long, king, sing. The Anipak voiced uvular nasal n with a tail is simply a nasalized variant of g with a dot used by some speakers next to a nasal. Arnak can be heard as angnak. Irnyak can be heard as ingnyak. The Anipak n with a brow is like the Spanish n with a brow in manana tomorrow, or the neo, n-i-o, in onion, with the mouth and tongue in position for y or i. Inyuk, erenyak. Most Inupiaq consonants can be long or short. The distinction between long and short is crucial. Inyuk, inyuk, iri, iri. They can mean something completely different. So it's very important to extend that sound. Inupiaq has three double vowels. Ah, ooh, e, ah as in apa or aka, u as in kuk or uluruk, e as in e. Here we have the Inupiaq diphthongs and the English words containing an equivalent or a very similar sound. We have here I as in Irish, pie or cry, air as in media, area, sort of a similar sound but kind of different, air, ow as in how or thou, or as in quarter and quality, ew as in cute and few, ooey as in gooey or fooey, ah as in father and obstacle, U as in boot or rule. E as in neat or neat. Here we have chapter one vocabulary and you can repeat after me. Aka. Aka. Apa. Apa. Achalik. Achalik. Arnak Arnak Arabic Arabic Ivic Ivic Akilhun Akilhun Achlak Achlak Angun Angun Achalukta Ach baluk dak. A ducky. A ducky. A diggy. A diggy. A wing up. A wing up. Ayuk duck. Ayuk duck. Igilu. Igilu. Eranyak. Eranyak. E. E. Illa. Illa. Illa fuck. Illa fuck. Ill. 
Inyo. 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 Inuit. Inuit. Echlak. Echlak. Echrak. Echrak. Eddy, 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 Kinya Una, or you can say it as Kinya Una, Kinya Una. Or you can say it as Kinauna. Kuchok. Kuchok. Kuk. Kuk. Mechlep dok. Mechlep New. New. Pisixi. Pisixi. Kailun Kailun Kawak Kawak Kayak Kayak Kwa Savik Savik Savil Hak Savil Hak. Sikhlak Sikhlak Sigidik Sigidik Or some people can say it as Sikhrik Sikhrik Sigidik Sigivit Or some people say Sikrik Sikrik Suna una Suna una Or you can say Suna una Suna una Tubsi Tubsi To me To me Ulu or Ulu Rock Ulu or Ulu Rock Unnet Unnet 